Hi guys. So tonight I'm going to do a snowman a, with a cone and uh, one of those St. Patrick's Day little hats. I'm going to see if anybody's going to log on here. <clears throat> While I'm waiting for everybody, I'm just going to go ahead and do the supplies. So it's the same size cone that I've been using. It's that six inch and it comes in a two pack. I get these at Walmart. And then this is one of those St. Patrick's Day hats and it has that tinsel on it. And all I did was I took all the tinsel off of it and then I snipped the little nubs around this outer edge and this top edge. Now there are some little nubs along the side and I just leave those. Sometimes it's really hard for the snips uh, to get close enough on those. So I just leave that, but I mainly do that, the outsides there. Hi, Cindy. And then a black sock, because that's what I'm gonna cover my hat with. And then one of the Dollar Tree dust mops. Hi, Miranda. And then just a little piece of felt. I normally put those on the bottom. Hi, Teresa. I am doing really well. I was a little tired after work today because I did tons and tons of cleaning there. Down on my hands and knees, underneath everything. But boy, it's looking so nice in there right now. So I'm kind of glad that it was a little slow and we had time to do all that. We had phone issues, so... Nobody called and everything, and the walk-ins weren't, weren't very much, so gave us time to get other stuff done that we don't normally have time for. Hi, Linda. And then also, I need the little shoes. Oh, see, snowmen are so great because it can be dressed up for Christmas or you can leave it up all winter as long as there's snow on the ground or anything. You can make it for pretty much, you know, you can decorate it quite a bit. So, I really like them. I don't like the snow, though. Once I get cold, I have a hard time warming up. So, but I love snowmen. I think they're so cute. And you can make them, you know, as elegant or cartoony, you know. You can even make scary snowmen, you know, when it gets close to Halloween. So, it all works. This one's going to be a really cute one. Um, you're not going to see the eyes and it's not going to have a mouth and all that, you know. Because it's, I kind of lean towards the gnomes. And so, the hat's going to be down right on his nose. And then... For that, I ended up using one of the big wooden beads that I that I get off of Amazon. And all that I used, on the last one, I painted it. So I had to wait for that paint to dry. But this one, I just used marker, and it covered it really well. So I think from now on, I'll probably use just my orange marker. Just because it saves time, and it's quick. Oh, Walmart has top hats. I haven't even looked. Um, I still have quite a bit of the St. Patty's Day ones left over from Dollar Tree, so I've just been using those. I've been kind of holding off going into the Christmas section just because I know I'm going to spend a lot of time there and probably a lot of money since I have that discount at Walmart. So soon I will be going through their Christmas section and I will probably be buying loads and loads of it. So then I'm also going to need a little piece of black felt because that's going to cover the shoes. I'm not going to fill them. Normally I would fill them with rocks and stuff, but I'm not going to fill them because it's not going to be, I don't need it to weight anything down. It's just going to be like a decorative um, spot. And then the only other thing is ribbon and stuff. Oh, discount. I work at Walmart in the Vision Center, so I have a discount card. So anything, you know, anything I go and I buy, I use that. 
I swiped my discount card and I'm like, well, I just got it for less. <laughs> so they're kind of helping me with my crafting too because they're saving me some money. Now on his scarf that I'm going to be doing for him, I, they have these cute little blankets at Walmart for $3. I want to say it was just $3. Otherwise it's like $3 and some cents. But I got it and I thought, oh my goodness, this would work great for crafting. So I just cut a little strip and then I'll use that for his, for his scarf. Works out great. Alright, then I have this little bucket and I just have leftover goodies is what I call it from some of the holiday sprigs, and I've got some jingle bells in there, some berries, just from stuff that I've used, and I've got little pine cones in there. Um, for the arms, I figure I'm gonna use these, and I got it off of this here. I've been using this probably for about a year. I think I got it at Walmart <laughs> last time, and I use it for a lot of my a lot of my stuff but recently I also got from the Dollar Tree these cute little sprigs as well but I want to save those for decorating like the hat up by the brim and let's see I also wanted I wondered if I would want white arms because I have this and so each one has like a really cute, I mean, it would make a really cute arm, but I wanted brown for his arms. So this one, I'm just going to save for another craft. It also has like little red speckles. I've had this, I've got two of them, but I've got them, I've had them for years and years and years. I used them for some centerpieces or inside a centerpiece for my granddaughter's uh, birthday parties when they turned three and four, if I remember right. Um, so <laughs> I just use, reuse everything. And then once I'm done with it, I try to use it once again. Now see, the, it just works so great for the arms. I, it was like a no brainer. I mean, they, it just works great and it looks like it has a little bit of frost or a little bit of snow on it anyway so it just works all right so I'm gonna go ahead and start so I've already taken the tinsel off and I've already snipped around now I'm not gonna cut the sock at all I'm gonna keep it all intact So I'm going to scrunch up all the way to the toe of the sock. And that toe of the sock is going to be on top here. Then you're just going to bring that up and around. And then all that left that leftover is just going to tuck inside. How simple and easy was that, right? Now if you want, you can add embellishments now, or you can wait for when it's on top of him. I normally wait until the end, just because I don't know exactly how I want him to turn out until his hat is on his head. And so see, I thought this around the band would be cute, or I've even got some red. So we'll see where it goes, but I think the gold will go really well with, with my scarf. So I'm just going to set this aside for now. And then I'm going to cut. All that I did, for, I want that felt on the bottom, is I traced the bottom of the cone. This way when you set it on... A table or something that styrofoam is not going to scratch up the table there 
in, put a little bit of blue around that. And then once it goes sliding around, that's not going to scratch anything up because it has that nice bottom. The comb is about a six inch. Um, let's see here. It's 2.75 by six inch. Here's the, here we go. And it comes in a two pack. It comes like this. Anytime they have these in the store, I kind of buy them out. I'm like addicted to these combs because it, it's just the perfect size. I can make the taller gnomes with them and the shorter ones. So since I can do more than one size, I make sure I always have these on hand. Okay. So with the dust mop, I'm going to flip it over to this side here. Just a heads up, when you cut this, it's going to go, it's going to have like little, little bits all over. And that's just because of how it was sewn on there. It's like little, little clumps that were placed. And so when you remove the stitching in one spot, you're going to remove that little clump. Hi, Bailey. So what I'm going to do is just lay my comb into one of the corners and I'm going to leave a, just a little bit of space there. And then this is going to wrap around to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this corner to attach it to my, my comb. And I put the glue on the the dust mop just so I don't melt my comb. Then you're going to add a little bit of glue. On this side. And these these snowmen work up really quick. So I'm going to fold this back so I can get as much of that fluff as I can. And so that's going to meet up with that corner there. And then I'm going to add, or I'm going to glue that down to there, down to this corner. So I'm just wrapping that where it goes. Now you'll see there's a little bit of cone right here that is not covered. I can take some of this extra that's down here to stick in that spot. Bailey, I'm making a snowman. So once I have that glued down, I'm going to go and cut right along this, this edge. And just a heads up, you will have wispies. Oh, my scissors are not one, but there we go. My scissors were very hesitant to cut. And then just so you know, this is what I was talking about. It's gonna want to shed. So all you're gonna do is lightly pull and get what you can off of there. Just to save it from falling out later. You're just gonna lightly tug. Thank you. 
And the same thing on your snowman. You're just going to lightly tug. And then just kind of fluff him. So then I notice that there's some really long pieces. I'm going to just go ahead and trim it. along that bottom. And then I'm gonna need just a little piece to fit right there. So I will see, I'm probably, since this comes to a point, I'm probably gonna Put the point down there and bring it up here and then I can trim off this piece there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue and lay that point as I'm moving all my fluff out of the way so I know that that will lay where I want it to. And I'm going to cut that extra off. Now this little piece that is left, I'm going to keep it because I have made some small gnomes. And since I have this little corner here, that could be part of a beard. So I'm going to save this little piece. And I'm just going to pull out a little bit of that extra. And don't panic. If you feel like it's, it's getting too much out of there, trust me, you're not going to... You're not going to make your snowman bald. There's going to be plenty on here. Because those pads are nice and fluffy. Alright, so he's glued down pretty good. Now, if there's some spots that haven't glued down very well, you can always just add a little bit more glue around that edge. So see, he's already looking pretty good and really unless you are up close and looking and even up close it's a struggle you're not going to be able to tell where the front and the back is and that's what I like about these snowmen and I like how fluffy they are makes me think of like fluffy fluffy snow So then I'm going to move his nose. I'm going to move on to the shoes. <clears throat> so the shoes I'm going to lay on their side so I know about how far I need. And normally I would use my rotary cutter, but I'm just going to use my scissors tonight. So I'm just making it a little bit longer or wider than the shoe.
The next thing I'm going to do is the bottoms. There it is. So then you're also going to trace the bottom of your shoe. Now, if I were, if I was putting the shoes underneath him, then I would definitely put rocks or something inside to weight him down a little bit, but it's going to, I'm going to place the shoes where it looks like he's sitting down. So I'm not going to need to weight down the shoes at all. So I'm just putting a bead of glue around that edge. And if you wanted, you could stuff, you could stuff in there like a little bit of felt or something, but I just leave it. Cause you can't really tell that nothing's in there and it's not going to be moved around that much. So it works for me just like this but if you wanted to add that extra little bit in there that's good too there's no wrong way of doing it And when I trace the bottoms, it does leave like a little, do you see that little edge? Now I snip that little edge. You don't have to, but for me it just kind of gives it a little bit more finished look. But you don't have to do that. It'll, it'll still work the same if you just place the stuff on the sides. I was so excited today uh, that I was getting off early so I could do another another video. All right, so now I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back. I'm gonna line that up with the bottom. Then I'm gonna put glue on the side. When I get to the tip of the shoe, I'm not putting any glue up on top. I'm just gonna put it here because I'm gonna create like a little pucker on the top and I'll show you how to do that after a bit. Hi Roxanne! So I'm just putting the glue just on the outside. None on the top of the toe yet. Once I reach the back, I'm going to give a little bit of overlap. So there's the bottom. 
And right now it just looks like this. And that shoe is inside. So now that I have all the sides glued, I'm going to put some glue right on the top of that foot, on the top of the toe area. And I'm going to put my thumb and press that down so it creates like that little, the little pucker. You probably see where I'm going right now with this. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue up towards the top of those puckers. And I'm going to fold them towards the center. I'm just going to hold that down a little bit. And then also we'll be folding in that top part, but I'm going to put some glue in there to hold it. So there's the shoe, and I have nothing on the inside. If you want, you can stuff the inside with scrap felt, just to have that in there to give like extra stuff to glue to. but it doesn't need any weight. So, I haven't I haven't put any rocks or anything in there. And I'm going to do the same on this one. I can't believe the snowman's almost done already. I haven't been on that long. Normally, normally my videos go about two hours. This one might not take that long. And boy, I gotta tell you, my table for that vendor show is looking pretty amazing. Hi, Uncle. I'm really excited for that November 6th vendor event. If I was going to the event to shop, I would probably buy several things off of my table just because I love how the look is. The, the look will match my house, I guess, is how, I'm, is how I'm thinking. So I'm hoping other people's houses will fit some of my stuff in there as well. I made it to where I've got some stuff for Thanksgiving and or fall, and then I've also got... Um, stuff for Christmas. I think I'm even going to leave the two pirates that I made. I mean, Halloween will be over by then, but boy, those pirates are just so stinking cute. 
I want to be able to still display them for a little bit because I don't feel that they were displayed very long. And I guess the uh, a pirate can celebrate other holidays too, so they're not just Halloween. Okay, tuck those in. Then I have that little crease on the top. Oh, Uncle, that is so awesome. My, my uh, saying is, you can never have too many of the gnomes. It's my favorite thing. We uh, are having a little contest where I work between all of us girls. And we have to decorate a pumpkin, and then we're going to let the customers vote on the best pumpkin. Well, I finished mine last night, and I'm loving my pumpkin. And then I took it to work this morning, and my boss ended up doing hers, and then one of the other gals was doing hers. And then the other one, she'll be bringing hers uh, by Saturday, and then that's when it, it starts. Is it'll, They'll probably start it on Monday. So I'm so excited to see all the pumpkins together but I will post a picture on my craft page of all of the uh, pumpkins and what mine looks like I, I made mine into a gnome uh, but he's so cute he's like a little scarecrow gnome but I love how he turned out all right so we're pretty much done all that I'm going to do now is figure out where I want the front to be, and I'm going to glue these boots down. And it's going to just look like he's sitting down. And I kind of wiggle it around and smoosh it in there and you might even want to take your glue gun and kind of put some glue behind some of that fur just so it stays in place otherwise you'll have a very loose foot They turn out so cute. So then on this one, I'm going to go all the way around. And then I fill the inside with glue as well. So I get that good, it's going to get that good seal. Then I kind of wiggle, wiggle around. And just that extra bit behind some of that fur to hold that fur down. Then your le the legs won't be as loose. So now he's going to look like he's sitting. It's looking really cute. Looks like a big clump of snow, doesn't he? And 
and really there's no front or back yet of the hat unless you would have already decorated that. If you would have decorated it first, then you would want to make sure that the front is on the front. So now I'm just going to look and see. So what I need to put some glue down in front of this shoe again because it's wanting to flop down. There we go. All right, then I'm going to find out how far down I want this hat to go. And I'm kind of angling it just a little bit. Yeah. And once I have it where I want, then I'm going to take that glue gun and I'm just going to shoot up there quite a bit of my glue. And I'm also going to put some on the back. And you know, when I did the first one like this, when I got to this point, I started laughing because if the body was tan or a light, like a lighter brown, he would almost look like that Mr. Peanut guy. I'll show you what I mean. Doesn't he kind of look, I mean, if he went in a little bit here and he fluffed out here, he would look like the Mr. Peanut. <laughs> I have the piano music almost every night. Almost every night. I, I'm addicted to gnomes, giraffes, and piano music. I listen to that when I go to sleep, too. It's just so nice and calming. So then I'm also going to glue the nose right underneath that hat. So I'm going to create like a little pocket in that dust mop where I'm going to put it. And then I hold it in for a little bit. <laughs> Oh, this looks so cute. I probably could add buttons to them too if I wanted, but with the last one, the buttons w would have been hidden with the uh, scarf. So there he is so far. And I still have quite a bit of movement for the legs. You can always add more and more glue as much as you can, and then that'll keep that from moving around. <laughs> so next, and all that I did for the scarf is I did not measure it. I just cut a strip off of that blanket. And I left part of the decorative edge. I'm going to just kind of maybe fold it a little bit. I want to make sure that I still get some of that color detail.
then all that you do is you snip whatever length you're wanting. And then with the last one, I created like little fringe at the bottom. And it's easy to do with this fabric because it's kind of like a fleece. So you just make those little strips and it's not going to fray. It's going to stay right there. But it adds just that little bit, just a little bit of texture there. Then we will work on his hat. And this is just an old bow that I had that I, it's like wired ribbon and I tore it apart. Oh, Teresa, that's awesome. Show me pictures when you're done. <laughs> so for a snow woman, I would probably take um, a little bit of white yarn and braid it. And before I put the hat on, I would hang the braids down there or even create like little ponytails. Uncle, they did. They said that they had to uh, hide underneath like a um, like an overpass or whatever in the truck because of that tornado. Thank goodness they were okay. They called me right after. They were still asking everybody else if they were okay, and they weren't even talking to me on the phone. They just said, hey, we're okay, went through a tornado, um, and then they, they quit talking to me altogether and was talking to everybody else, and I said, call me back or text me when you know everybody else is okay. <laughs> and then they, they didn't even hear me talking, so I was like, hey, hey, hey. Just call me back and then they got back on the phone and they said hey I'm gonna have to let you let you go and we'll message you back but thank goodness everybody was good oh so scary so I'm liking the gold because that brings out the yellow in his scarf. I also have a red ribbon that I thought I could use, but I don't, I wanted to be able to use this, this here. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this gold because I think it's going to look way better. So, I will start gluing that down. Shoo, excuse me. All that fur and everything from the dust mop tickled my nose. Oh, you like that side of the ribbon? <laughs> Thank you. You know, whenever I go to do my lives, I keep going, hopefully nothing will go wrong this time. You know, because I've had a few little mishaps and my videos have not gone how I wanted them to. Um, it's made me like a little vulnerable, I guess, at times. And I did debate on whether keeping those videos to where everybody could see it or delete them, but... You know, it's just a normal thing. Everybody has emotions. Everybody has a mistake or something here and there. So, might as well share it. If somebody else learns a little bit from it or whatever, so be it. So, this one's going to be a funny video because I sneezed.
Oh yeah. It would look better scrunched up a little bit. That would look cute. Uncle, you are so right. I like how the little creases look too with it scrunched. The wrinkles give it character. I'm going to start gluing that down a little bit. I've noticed on this, the ribbon, when I add the glue underneath it, it gets really hot and you can feel it through the other side. So if you do use, it's almost like a, a papery ribbon. It's not like a cloth. It's kind of like a paper. So be very careful with it because it will, uh, it can burn you. Scrunch this down a little bit, hold it in place. I love the wrinkles. Thank you guys for helping me with all of your ideas and stuff too. It really helps being able to talk to you guys. Um, Marina, I don't remember where I got this. It was already made into a bow. Um, it might have been Walmart or it could have been Dollar Tree. So, uh, I don't know which, which one. I got it from so yeah it looks so cute scrunched but boy you can feel the heat from that when you put glue behind it so be very careful if you guys get this this type of ribbon it was already made up into a bow and I just took it apart I think it was made for like a door or something but I very seldom ever use things for what they're normally used for. <laughs> I always figure I, it can be something else. Melissa, I will message you. So... I also like little embellishments. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just look and see. I have stuff in here as well. I'll just tip that on its side or empty it so I have it out on my table. I think what I'm going to do right now, though, before I start embellishing his hat, is I'm going to put his arms on. And I just cut two little pieces from that, from that sprig. Susan, thank you. I'm always looking for new stuff. Oh my goodness. Let's see. I'm just going to put some glue on the bottom of this. And then I'm just going to stick it inside the fur. And then hold the fur around it. 
and that will hold that arm in place. So there's one arm. I don't know if you can see that very well. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just putting some glue down towards the bottom. <clears throat> I'm just setting it inside that, that mop and then just pulling the fur or that dust mop around it. And that will hold it in place. Oh my goodness. I'm loving how he's looking. There's his, his arms. <laughs> now for his hat. This is off of a different one. And I mean, I could put that there and add berries and stuff, or I don't know if they call this lamb's ear. I put some lamb's ear. I don't know. Maybe that'll tie in some of this here and maybe some berries or jingle bells. Or, whoops, or even a pine cone. There's really no wrong way to embellish these. Kind of like that. You think it should go in the back to cover the seam? I normally put it towards the front just to top it off because the back, a lot of people don't see it because that's like up against the thing. But I do get, maybe I could add like a little bow in the back and that would hide the back. Pine cone in pine cone in the pine, maybe add a little berry. There's so many different ways. So many different ways. Um, I also have these berries. They have like these little white beads on top. Those would be, those would be cute. So, let's see. I'm going to try something and see what I think. Ooh, I think I found what I like. Hi, Robin. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this down. And then I'll show you what I come up with with your guys' help of inspiring me.
how I like the mixture. So I'm thinking this might work out. I'm just gonna go for it. Normally when I just go for it, the craft works out pretty good. So I'm going with my gut. <laughs> it looks so cute. Oh my goodness. Maybe even... No, don't like that. Okay. I like these berries. I think this is gonna look really good. I took a little bit of everything that everybody liked. So some people like the lighter green, some people like the darker green, some people like the pine cone. And you know what I did and I love how it's it's looking was I combined all of it and I think he's looking really sharp. <laughs> oh, that's wire down at the bottom. Okay, I'm just about to where I can show yeah I like that okay are you guys ready I love how he's looking I might even add like a bow in the back to hide that so look at that little He's got a little bit of everything, so everyone came together, and it all still works. It looks good. Everybody needs to be able to do that in life. Just work together. Alrighty, so I'm going to see about possibly making a little scrunchy bow. Thank you guys for those hearts. Okay. So I'm going to take a little piece of wire. And I'll show you what I'm doing in the back here. As soon as I get it to my liking, I'm gonna hide that where I, I'm gonna hide that seam.
I could probably do, let's see, tomorrow's Friday. I bet you I could do like three. Kind of, kind of depends on my work schedule because that's, that's what would uh, hold me up the most is having to work. And see, I have about uh, two weeks before my, well, not even two weeks, I guess. It's the 6th of um, November when I have to have that, everything done for that vendor show. And right now, I'm not really doing any orders because I'm trying to get stuff set up for my I'm wanting to make sure I have everything for my table set up. So I want to make sure that I have that one spot that's left and that's going to be for a snowman. Okay. So that looks good. I think I might do maybe a jingle bell in the middle. Sometimes when I talk, I lose my, my train of words because I'm also working. So if it kind of sounds like I'm muddled, my brain's trying to do too much at once. Okay, so I'm going to show you the back. And that's just to cover <laughs> that seam. But I think I want to make up at least three or four of these just so I have some at the table. And when something gets sold, I want to be able to replace something so I don't have any gaps. And I'm pretty sure these will sell. And if you guys make any of these, you'll have to show me pictures. I even had, I wasn't sure, but I even have like these little, these were in potpourri. And I thought, well, you know, that would work too. These are just leftover, leftover goodies. This is almost like my treasure, my treasure tub, because it has tons of stuff that can be used. Little scraps. Alright, so I think he's done. He's ready. He's ready to sell. <laughs> yeah, they turn out really cute. But with my work schedule, a lot of times I'm working 11 in the morning until 8 o'clock at night. And so it doesn't leave me much time to do up the craftings. Tonight I actually got off early, so that worked out really well. And then on my days off, I try to spend it with family and get stuff done around the house. But a lot of times I craft as well. Oh, Uncle, I would love to see your Halloween gnome. <laughs> I am so glad that you guys like watching these lives. I hope I hope you guys create these. And I mean, it looks really nice on the bottom. It looks like a finished one like you would get at the store. 
that's what I aim for when I do my crafts. I want it to look like it's finished to where if you purchased it at the store, I mean, you're not going to see that styrofoam cone. You're going to see felt or something on the bottom. Uh, so that's what I go for when, when I do my crafts. But boy, he turned out so cute, don't you think? And he really didn't take a whole lot of supplies. Um, the cone, roughly it's about $2 for the cone itself. And then the hat is a, was a dollar. And then these booties, they're six to a uh, package for a dollar. And then this is just a fraction of that blanket. And this is just a fraction of the sprig. One little bead. And then embellishments and ribbon. Doesn't take much at all. And then a little bit of felt. So, and the felt sheets are only 28 cents at uh, Walmart. And it wasn't even full sheets. So, works out so good. This, this is the second one for the table. Uh, the other one... I want to say it was more red and green because I did that red and green uh, ribbon and I think I gave him a red scarf so this one I love the colors these would match my my uh, decor in my entryway one of these days I will decorate my house with my own creations but right now I give them away as gifts and I sell them and my I always figure I can make mine later so I very seldom ever um, have my stuff in my house um, let's see for the price of him normally I do supplies times two and then I add just a little bit for my time really I don't go into it to make too much of a profit because it's just a hobby since I'm working um, and I'm not doing it to um, for like an income so let's see two three I would say there's probably five dollars worth of supplies well no about six dollars because the the um, dust mop is a dollar as well at the Dollar Tree. So two, three, four, yeah, probably about five and a half to six dollars in supplies. So I would probably charge about fifteen, twenty dollars. That's what I would put on it. It just kind. Of, I think the pricing also depends on your location. Because a lot of people wouldn't pay a lot in my section of the woods. Everybody likes to get cheaper items. And so they just pass things up. But, oh, I was also going to measure how tall he is. So he's about 9 inches tall. And from... His hat, he's about five inches wide. So nine inches, nine inches tall, about five inches wide. So I would, I would probably sell him for, I would probably go for 15 in my neck of the woods. Just because I know I can make more. And for the $15, I'm not really paying myself a whole lot for my time. But this is my, this is my go-to to stay sane. And I'm not really in it for the profit. I'm just wanting to make my crafts and it, uh, it really helps me release a lot of the bad stuff. So it helps me to make it. And then when I sell it, if I make a little a little bit of money here and there, 
you know, that's great too. I'll just put it back into crafts. <laughs> and you know, I think the thing that I get out of all of my crafting the most, the most enjoyment out of all of it is the look on the person's face when they buy it. I mean, or if I gift it, you know, the look on their face, that is priceless. You cannot, you can't get enough of that. So, um, also, I was going to tell you, I have, last I looked, 928 followers. So, I'm getting pretty close to that 50 mark. So, if we get to... If, if I get to that 950, I'll be drawing a name again. Uncle, Auntie is really good with her beading and everything. She's, I tell you, she's so crafty. And then she's got the sweetest heart that, oh my goodness. I just, I just love her to pieces. All right, well, I'm not going to stay on here too much longer. I'll probably end up making <laughs> a couple more of these. Let's see, it's almost quarter to nine. So I'll probably make one or two more of these tonight um, before bed. And then, well, I'll probably only do one because I was planning on watching a movie too. And then, of course, I got to work the long hours tomorrow So and, and Saturday. So, I'll probably do some crafting after I get off work those those days too. So, who knows? I might end up with, with a lot more. So, <laughs> I am so glad you all came on and have watched, watched this craft. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but somebody had asked me to make a snow, or asked if I could do a snowman. And I wasn't sure because... These aren't really, they don't really look like gnomes, but it kind of does, if that makes sense, because you can't see his eyes. So, oh, thank you guys. That's so sweet. All right. Well, you guys have a great night. And if I don't talk to you uh, before next week, I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you for watching. And if you make any, let me see what you've done. And then message me with any questions and I will get back to you when I can, okay? So Robin, I'll be in touch with you as well. So, all right. Well, you guys have a great night and make sure to do that as well. Get the name out there and the page out there because when I reach 950, I get to draw another name and spread some sunshine. So, <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye.